The picture of Nancy and her quads was extraordinary, but when Michelle zoomed in during the editing process, she saw something very disturbing that changed her life forever. Michelle carried the heavy bag with all the photography equipment to the luscious lawn of the park where she and Nancy agreed to do the latest photo shoot. She had been privileged to do a photo shoot about a year earlier with the same family. Since that day, she had been invited to birthday parties and special occasions with this family, as it was clear that Nancy loved the work she was doing. Michelle fixed her eyes on the mother of four. There was a strong family resemblance between Nancy and her daughters and, of course, the quadruplets looked almost identical. Michelle could hardly tell the girls apart. So at each photo shoot, Nancy would add a subtle difference to each girl's hair to make it easier for the photographer to communicate with her models. Cassidy and Elaine loved the camera, while Diane and Ruth were a little more shy. Michelle always booked ample time for shootings when children were involved, and even more when the quadruplets were her models. She knew very well that the girls had to trust her and enjoy the time, otherwise getting all four girls to smile at the same time could become an impossible task. The individual photo shoots were a lot of fun as Michelle tried to capture the personality of each girl. Then she took a few shots with the quads randomly pairing up. There was ample opportunity to take a lot of spontaneous and informal shots of them playing in the park, and the shooting was going perfectly. Finally, the time arrived for the more formal setting, where mom Nancy was photographed with the girls. Michelle tried to capture the depth of his mother's care for her girls, as well as the deep relationship that she had established with each of them. For the final set of shots, the girls were dressed in floral dresses to carry the summer vibe of the day. Nancy agreed to wear a light blue strappy dress to compliment her daughters, but also to ensure that she stood out a little. Michelle knew instinctively that these final outfits would create stunning pictures of these five beautiful women, with their blondish curly hair and matching smiles. At the end of the day, Nancy informed Michelle that there was a fundraising event at the girls' local school in the coming month. One of the ways the school was raising funds was to ask each family to submit a picture and then write a short essay on the blessing of being a family. She wanted to use one of these pictures with their submission, therefore she was in a hurry to get the prints. Michelle told her she would do her best and hurried home to edit the pictures. The first photo shoot that Michelle did for the Thompson family was a last-minute stand-in for a colleague who unexpectedly got ill and asked her to help out. Initially, Michelle was hesitant to do the shoot, but she couldn't say no to her friend. The hesitation came from the fact that she preferred to do formal studio photographs. While this shoot was booked in an outdoor setting, Michelle feared that she would mess up the lighting and exposure and that her reputation as an upcoming photographer would be shattered. There was no time to read up or prepare, and on top of it all, it was a cold and windy day outside. With mom and the girls all having long hair, she was concerned that she would not get the perfect shots of the entire family. To her great surprise, Michelle enjoyed the photo shoot in nature much more than she ever expected. On top of that, she and Nancy got along well. Nancy was quite easygoing, and her laid-back approach to the photo shoot immediately made Michelle relax. When she finished editing the pictures, she could hardly believe how stunning the results were. With the weak winter sun, some of the shots had minimal light exposure, but the setting sun painted the sky in an autumn ray of colors. Spectacular best described the final result. When Michelle informed Nancy that the prints of their first shoot were ready, about a week later, Nancy invited her over for an informal lunch when she dropped off the prints. It was strange for Michelle to be allowed into a client's life, but as soon as she entered the living room, she realized that she felt almost at home. The house was cozy, and the walls were filled with pictures of the girls, Nancy and her husband Jeff. The two women became fast friends, and from that moment on, Nancy always called her in person when she wanted the shoot done. So here she was, doing the second photo shoot for her friend. Friends because in time, Michelle and Nancy had become more than just acquaintances. Although they didn't see each other that often, when they met for brief coffee, they shared some of their deepest heart secrets. Michelle learned that Nancy grew up without a father for the first seven years of her life. That is why she was so protective of her daughters. Fortunately, her mother met a man when she was about six years old, and he became the father she never had. Her stepdad filled a great void in her life, and for the first time in her life, she noticed that her mom was really happy. But the seven years before her mom was married had been tight. There was barely enough to make ends meet, but her mom supported her with unconditional love. 
Nancy and her mom were extremely close and remained so till this day. Nancy shared with Michelle that she aspired to have an equally great relationship with her girls, but she knew that the siblings would most probably draw very strongly toward each other. Quadruplets are known to share a very unique bond with one another. Nancy confessed that some days she was a little jealous of the girls, as she was an only child. Michelle took a little longer to open up, but she told Nancy that she had a wonderful mother who died almost two years ago. Although she loved her dad, they had always struggled to develop a close bond. Her dad was always busy with work and on the road. After her mom died, she tried to spend more time with him, but their relationship remained a little strained. Michelle could never put her finger on it, but she always felt as if her dad was a stranger, as if he had a whole other life that she and her mom never shared, and they were almost only connected by their shared DNA. The day was dawning, and Michelle promised to prioritize the editing of the photographs of the Thompson family. She planned to start the moment she got home, but after an exhausting day out in the sun, she fell asleep on the couch minutes after she got back home. The next morning, she was excited to start editing the prints. She felt privileged to work on such a beautiful project and could hardly wait to deliver the finished product to Nancy. Part of the satisfaction of her work was to see how happy a client was when she handed them the picture. Sometimes she almost felt guilty that she was being paid for something that was so enjoyable to her. Michelle downloaded the pictures to her computer. She could hardly believe that she had taken almost 500 shots of that family. It would take a while to select the best pictures as she had promised Nancy 50 shots only. What made her task all the more difficult was that all the girls and their mom were very photogenic and there was hardly a picture not worth saving. Some of the most gorgeous shots were the ones with the flowery dresses and mom dressed in blue. Michelle had made them all twirl around and caught precious moments of their hair catching the light and spinning around their heads. It was a daunting task to limit the pictures to the best 50. Finally, with the best 50 selected, Michelle did some tweaks on the lighting and shadows. But all in all, her job was almost done. She would finish the task by the end of the day and then make an appointment with Nancy to deliver the prints. The two of them needed to catch up a little and this would be the perfect opportunity. Michelle was doing her final scroll through the pictures when she noticed a stranger in the background of one of the pictures. She zoomed in to confirm her suspicion and was contemplating whether she should select another picture or use her editing tools to eliminate the stranger when her eye caught something on Nancy's right shoulder blade. For a second, Michelle thought that her eyes were deceiving her. She zoomed in a little, and there it was, unmistakably. Michelle opened up the other pictures of Nancy in the blue strappy dress. She had to make sure of her facts before she could act on the hunch that was brewing in her mind. In most of the pictures, Nancy's long hair covered her shoulders, but as Michelle looked closely, she found three other photos confirming her suspicion. Michelle knew she had to tread with caution. She was working with people's lives and hearts. If her hunch was wrong, she could ruin many lives. Before speaking to Nancy, she first had to speak to her dad. Without hesitation, Michelle got in her car and drove to the block of flats where her dad had been living for the past year or so. The urgent knock on his apartment door gave Michelle's dad a fright. Is there something wrong? He asked with wide eyes when he saw his daughter standing there unannounced. Michelle wasn't about to beat around the bush. Dad, I need you to be brutally honest with me now. Do I have an older sister? The old man got a shocked look in his eyes and was speechless for a moment. But then he calmly said, How did you find out? Michelle took a few seconds to process what her father had just confirmed. But then she realized she had to put it all on the table. I met a woman about a year ago while doing a family photo shoot. Yesterday I did another shoot for the mom and her girls. And today I was editing the photos. That's when I saw the tiny heart-shaped birthmark on her shoulder. It looks exactly like the one I have, and the one you have. I thought it was too odd to be a coincidence. Is this woman living nearby? Her father's calm demeanor almost shocked her the most. That afternoon, Michelle learned that her dad had been in love with another woman before he met her mother. The relationship was stormy, and he broke up with her and moved to the other side of the town, where he married Michelle's mom. Six years later, he met his ex-girlfriend by chance and found out she had a little girl who looked just like him. When he approached her to inquire if the girl was possibly his, she asked him to please keep his distance. She had already met another man, and she wanted her daughter to grow up with a dad without having to share him. The fact that her father knew Nancy's name was enough confirmation, but Michelle knew she had to share what she had uncovered with her. If the information was accurate, 
It meant that Nancy would indeed be her half-sister. That would explain why there was this almost unnatural bond between her and Nancy from day one. Michelle made a special appointment with Nancy, and since she was waiting for the picture, she wasn't suspicious or on edge when Michelle asked the meter for a coffee. In an emotional exchange of information, the two women found out that they probably shared the same father. When Michelle showed Nancy her heart-shaped birthmark, there was no need to do a DNA test. The two women instinctively knew that they were sisters. An almost chance meeting allowed two sisters who never even knew that the other existed to become the greatest of friends. In an instant, Michelle became the aunt of Cassidy, Elaine, Diane, and Ruth. Nancy hadn't decided yet if she wanted to meet her biological father, but she was sure that she wanted to know her sister better. The two incredible women felt blessed that they found each other, and from that day forward, they became even closer. What a shocking twist. Do you think Michelle's father deserves a second chance by meeting his long-lost daughter and even becoming a grandfather? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.